वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए वेरी नाइस ओलम्पियाड लेबल प्रॉब्लम बाई टू डिफरेंट मेथड्स वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इन द एंड इफ यू फील दैट यू कैन सजेस्ट ए बेटर मेथड सजेस्ट दैट मेथड इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो लेट्स ए स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवेन दैट ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फोर एंड ए एंड बी आर बोथ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स सो हाउ टू सॉल्व इस्ट सो लेट्स ए स्टार्ट वी हैव ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फोर सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू टेक बी कॉमन फ्रॉम द लास्ट टू टर्म सो आई एम राइटिंग ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए प्लस वन इन टू बी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फोर नाउ इफ आई लुक एट दिस टर्म ए स्क्वायर इट लुक्स लाइक दैट फ्रॉम दिस सम हाउ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक ए कॉमन फैक्टर ऑफ टू ए प्लस वन सो आई मल्टीप्लाई द होल थिंग बाई टू अगेन सो आई गेट टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम्स टू ए प्लस वन इन टू बी इज इक्वल टू एटी एट नाउ आई विल डू द एडिशन हेयर टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए एंड सिंस आई हैव एडेड ए आई विल सब्ट्रैक्ट माइनस ए एंड देन टू टाइम्स टू ए प्लस वन इन टू बी इज इक्वल टू एटी एट सो बाई डूइंग दिस आई विल बी एबल टू टेक ए कॉमन फ्रॉम हेयर सो आई विल गेट ए कॉमन आई विल गेट टू ए प्लस वन एंड प्लस आई एम राइटिंग दिस टर्म हेयर सो टू टाइम्स टू ए प्लस वन इन टू बी माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू एटी एट सो वट वी कैन गेट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट टू ए प्लस वन कैन बी टेकन कॉमन सो आई एम टेकिंग टू ए प्लस वन कॉमन एंड फ्रॉम हेयर आई विल गेट ए प्लस टू बी लाइक ए हेयर एंड देन टू इन टू बी हेयर सो ए प्लस टू बी हेयर एंड माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू एटी एट सो वट डू यू थिंक शुड बी डन नेक्स्ट अगेन वी हैव ए हेयर सो सपोज आई मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन बाई टू अगेन सो आई विल गेट टू टाइम्स टू ए प्लस वन इन टू ए प्लस टू बी माइनस टू ए इज इक्वल टू एटी एट नाउ टू गेट दिस टू ए प्लस वन टर्म एज ए कॉमन टर्म हेयर सो दैट इट कैन बी टेकन कॉमन आई कैन एड और सब्ट्रैक्ट माइनस वन फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन and one more thing here i have multiplied it by 2 so it will become 176 uh, right uh, 88 into 2 so now i am going to write uh, 2 times 2a plus 1 into a plus 2b minus 2a minus 1 is equal to 176 minus 1 moving to the next step i will get what i will get टू ए प्लस वन कैन बी टेक एन कॉमन और लेट मी राइट दिस वन मोर टाइम सो दैट देर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन टू ए प्लस वन इन टू ए प्लस टू बी एंड हेयर इट इज माइनस टू ए प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वन सेवेंटी फाइव आई एम मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज सो जस्ट सो दैट देर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट Here in the previous page we have 2a plus 1 as a factor, and here we have 2a plus 1. So 2a plus 1 will be taken common. So I take uh, just 2a plus 1 common, and what we will be left with? We will be left with you can see that a into a plus 2b, uh, not a, 2 into a plus 2b, and minus 1 from here. So uh, 2. Into a plus two b and minus one from the end. This is equal to one seventy five. 
so we have got 2a plus 1 and here we have 2a plus 4b minus 1 is equal to 175 now at this stage uh, I have to change our strategy now we have already factorized it so what is the next point of action that we can think of in the left hand side we have the product of two terms right so if we have the product of two terms the right hand side should also be written as product of two terms but one thing uh, I note here that uh, since a and b both are positive integers a and b both belong to set of positive integers it is uh, like obvious that 2a plus 1 will be less than 2a plus 4b minus 1 right so if I factorize 175 I am writing here 175 can be written as 1 into 175 175 can also be written as 5 into 35 175 I think it is not divisible by 3 7 plus 1 8 plus 5 no not divisible by 3 175 can be also written as 7 into 25 right and then 175 can be written as now uh, I think uh, there is no other possibility uh, so we can write it 25 into 7 and then 175 can be written as 35 into 5 and 175 can also be written as 175 into 1 so the point that I want to make here that this this option this option and this option I am not going to consider because here the first factor 2a plus 1 should be less than the second factor that is 2a plus 4b minus 1 so now we have to discuss all these three cases one by one so what is the first case when 175 is factorized as 1 into 175 so I take case 1 so in that case if I uh, compare uh, here 2a plus 1 will become 1 and 2a plus 4b minus 1 will become 175 so if I solve this first equation from this I get 2a is equal to 0 so this implies a is equal to 0 and at this point I can neglect this solution because as you have already uh, you know noticed that a and b both are positive integers so a cannot be 0 and like uh, similarly b can also not be 0 so this option is already uh, I mean we can neglect this now if you talk the case 2 here in case 2 you note that 2a plus 1 should be taken as 5 and uh, this term that is 2a plus 4b minus 1 should be taken as 35 so if you solve it you will get 2a is equal to 4 so a is equal to 2 from this step a is equal to 2 and uh, what you will get from this so from this you can see that if you take a is equal to 2 it will become 4 4 minus 1 that is 3 so 4b will be equal to 35 minus 3 that is 32 right and so I will get b is equal to 8 so I have got an ordered pair like a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 8 as our first solution right so just let me put it in the box and similarly if you take the case third here what will be case third in case third we have 2a plus 1 is equal to 7 and 2a plus 4b minus 1 is equal to 25 so from this you will get a is equal to 7 minus 1 6 by 2 that is equal to 3 and from this you will get what uh, you will get 4b is equal to uh, 3 into 2 6 minus 1 5 and 20 minus 5 is equal to 20 so I will get b is equal to uh, 5 so we have got the solution that is a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5 so this is another solution so this is the method number one and I hope you have uh, 
kind of understood it uh, in case if you have not you can just go through the uh, steps one by one but I am going to solve it by one more method and this is going to be this method is going to be uh, slightly quicker but it uh, requires uh, a bit of more kind of you know um, approach in the sense that uh, we have to look at the problem in a slightly diff different way so let's uh, start it so to uh, start with we have this uh, problem here that is a square plus 2ab plus b is equal to 44 and it is given that a and b both are positive integers so what we can do uh, we can write it like a square plus b can be taken common from here and i can write 2a plus 1 is equal to 44 and so I am going to solve it for B so if I solve it for B I will get B is equal to 44 minus a square by 2a plus 1 now uh, one thing is very clear that uh, we want both a and B as positive integers so to get B if b is equal to 45 minus a square by 2a plus 1 what we can think of that what can be the value of uh, a square if you look at a square uh, maximum perfect square that I can subtract from 44 to make it positive is 36 because 1 square is equal to 1 right so from 1 to uh, 6 I can take the value 1 2 3 4 5 6 the moment I take 7 this a square will become 49 and this 49 when I will subtract from 44 the B will become negative I want both a and B to be positive so we have to take this six different cases of a from 1 to 6 right and that we have to quickly check that which will work so if I take a is equal to 1 B will be equal to what B will be equal to 44 minus 1 44 minus 1 by 2 into 1 that is 2 plus 1 3 but it is not acceptable it will be like 43 by 3 but it is not acceptable because B should be an integer it is not an integer so this option is gone if I take a is equal to 2 in this case b will be equal to 44 2 a square will give me 4 and here it is uh, 2 into 2 that is 4 plus 1 will be 5 so you can see 44 minus 4 40 by 5 that is equal to 8 so we are getting a solution a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 8 now if I take a is equal to 3 what we will get we will get b is equal to 44 minus uh, 3 square that is 9 by uh, 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 1 7 so uh, what I will get I will get uh, 44 minus 9 so it will be 35 yeah 35 by 7 not 35 by 7 uh, 44 minus 9 will be 36 uh, 30 sorry 44 minus 10 will be 34 so it will be 35 and 35 by 2 into 3 uh, 7 so what we are getting we are getting 5 so have we got the solution that is a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5 so yes we have got a solution here that is that is what I was thinking sorry for this interruption so a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5 so that is also an acceptable solution because both are integers now if I take a is equal to 4 here what I will get I will get b is equal to 44 minus 16 by 4 into 2 8 plus 1 9 so you can clearly see that this is also not an integer similarly if you take a is equal to 5 you will get b is equal to 44 minus 25 and uh, 
2 into 5 10 plus 1 11 so this is also not integer you can clearly verify and if you take a is equal to 6 your b will be equal to 44 minus 36 divided by 6 into 2 12 plus 1 13 so it will be like uh, 8 by 13 also not an integer so only possible solution that we have got is a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 8 or a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5 so these are the two uh, different ways of solving this problem in the first i have tried to factorize the things and then i have got three different cases in the second i just have uh, solved it for b and since uh, a and b are both integers i have used the property that uh, we have to select the integers in such a way that uh, what we get is also an integer solution so this is my way of solving the problem uh, in case if you have watched the video till the end and if you think that you can suggest a better method suggest that in the comment section thanks for watching subscribe the channel and like the video